close your eyes and pay attention to your breath. There are lots of things in the world you're going to be paying attention to right now, but drop everything else and just be with the breath. The breath is your anchor right here in the present moment, so you can see what's going on in the mind. Because the mind is the main force that shapes your experience. Things come in from outside, like raw materials. And then your mind is what creates them into something you can actually use. And if the mind is in good shape, you get good things. If the mind is not in good shape, you don't know what you're going to get. So try to, try to put the mind in good shape. In other words, be mindful. Keep in mind the fact that you want to stay with the breath. And then be alert, watching what the mind is doing, watching what the breath is doing. On things you don't have to be alert to right now, just focus right here. And then be ardent. Try to do this well. Because you never learn anything unless you give it your best. When the Buddha was tra training his son, he said, basically, try your best not to harm anybody. And if you find that you do cause harm, well, take that as a lesson and adjust your understanding. And that's how you learn. If you don't try your best to begin with, you never really learn. You just say, well, I, it didn't go well because I didn't really put some effort into it, but that's okay. And then you never learn. You learn by doing your best. And then when that's not good enough, you say, well, what do I do now? So do your best with the meditation, especially with the meditation. There's that saying that anything worth doing is worth doing well. It's not always the case. Some things are worth doing better than others. And the mind is one of the things that you want to give your first priority to, because it shapes everything else you experience. It can take bad things and shape them into good things, if it's really skilled. If it's not skilled, it can take good things and turn them into bad. We see this all around us. People with wealth, status, highly praised by other people, and then they abuse that wealth and status and end up harming, harming themselves and harming the people around them. It's because their minds aren't trained. But if your mind is trained, you can take little tiny things and make something big and good out of them. So work on your mind. Focus your attention on training this skill right here. And you find that this skill then becomes a skill that you can carry with everything. As the body ages, as the body grows ill, and even as it dies, the mind will have a skill to protect itself so it doesn't have to suffer. Once the mind is strong, that can compensate for a lot of weakness in the body and a lot of disappointments outside. Because we all have good and bad karma. But you can create nothing but good karma in the present moment if you want. This is where we have our choice. Once we've made the choice, then you have to live with it. So make a good choice all the time. And that way this shaper of your experience here will become an expert. And then you can trust yourself wherever you go.